Hello students, <coughs> in this lesson we will learn about uh, different uh, cleaning equipment that is being used in hospital detector or in housekeeping. So these are manual equipment. I have already covered the topic of uh, cleaning equipment that is a uh, mechanical cleaning equipment. So myself from the department of hospitality and tourism management. So <coughs> efficient cleaning and maintenance and our department are dependent upon high quality cleaning equipment correctly using so you have to be used them correctly though only 5 to 10 percent of overall cost in card on cleaning is accurated for provide cleaning equipment and agents selecting the ideal equipment plays a major role in the cleaning process this will often be several ways of carrying out any particular cleaning task and different types of equipment that can be employed for it. It is the, it is the duty of executive housekeeper to select the uh, <coughs> right amount, right quality, right quantity of uh, cleaning equipment that will be being used, that will be used in the housekeeping department or in the housekeeping operation. You have to carry, you have to carry out, uh, you have to uh, think about so many aspects while buying those cleaning equipment. So manual equipment are nothing but those equipment which you have to be used by your hand and by using manual personal energy of employees is a, without any uh, electrical resources. So manual equipment are everything you uh, you or anyone used in your homes. So many manual equipment we use day by day every day while doing our general task so in hotels also likewise there are so many uh, similar equipment that are being used while doing housekeeping operations so first one being the brushes the very basic ones these may be designed to remove uh, dry or wet and avoid uh, ingrained dust or dirt from the hardest soft surfaces so there are basically some parts in the brush, so uh, the parts of the brushes are as follows: so bristle. So brittle bristles are the the actual the main part of the uh, brush. From uh, by using this, you can use uh, you can remove the dust. So bristles may be of uh, animal vegetables or man-made origins. So here you can in this picture you can see that so these are the bristles. Horse hair, nylon, and polypropylene are commonly used to make bristles for cleaning brushes. In general, the finer, softer bristles are best for smooth and hard surfaces. The harder the bristles, the softer the surface on which the brush should be used. Exception, exception being uh, toilet brushes and brushes found on all purpose floor machines. Bristles, if not mated properly, have a tendency to bend play or fall out of the stock. This should be closely set in tufts and the stock well covered with tufts. So while after using a brush you have to uh, clearly um, clean the bristle area so that any uh, cleaning agent or any other particles doesn't stick or not stuck in the bristle area otherwise it may get damaged or it may fall out from the surface area from the this point. The next one is head stock. Headstock is the area where the bristles are connected or inserted. So in this, so these are the bristles. It may be of uh, any different uh, uh, substances. So this is the headstock area where these are inserted. This may be of wood, metal, or plastic. A good brush is one that has sturdy stocks. Sturdy, otherwise it may loosen or it may fall out of the headstock. So handle handle is nothing but this uh, that uh, long handle which you hold or which is it is being hold to uh, thoroughly use the brush. After this, uh, different types. Here comes the different types of brushes. This is the parts of brushes. So uh, types of brushes are like uh, hard brush. Hard brushes have bristles that are fairly stiff and well spaced out. 
they are most suitable for the removal of soil and litter, litter from carpets and the cleaning rough surfaces. The hard brushes that is being used that is for rough surfaces. So here you can see rough brush from the bristle only you can identify what kind of brush it is. After the soft brushes, these are being used uh, reserved, very flexible and set close together. Those help to remove loose soil and litter on hard smooth surfaces. Such brushes may be designed to dust carpets and furniture too, especially those made of cane, wicca, and bamboo. So, as you can see, soft furnaces. So, in soft furnaces, these bristles are uh, inserted closely, or in hard surfaces, these bristles you can see there are some gaps in between. So, that is the main that is the one uh, small difference between a soft brush and hard brush. Otherwise, you can find out by just touching the bristle only. And scrubbing brush. Scrubbing brush is nothing but a short uh, coarse bristle designed for use on surfaces that have become stained and heavily irrigated with dirt. These bristle, uh, the brushes should be only used to remove stubborn or heavy soiling. Areas that are difficult for scrubbing machines to access, long handled scrubbing brushes called pet scrubbers or tea scrubbers are usually use in this way. So in uh, some corners, so you can see this is scrubbing bus, if you have small handle, you have to hold this scrubbing bus by hand by inserting your hand fingers in between this gap. So scrubbing buses are used in the uh, in the scrub, the scrub area and those areas where scrubbing machines don't reach easily. So in this area you have to use one T T shaped scrubbing brush. T shaped means one here in between one long handle will be there so this will form the this will form like the letter T so this T T so this is T brush or scrubbing brush brushes are also uh, classified on basis of their function so there are more types of brushes as like this toilet brush these are WC brush WC is mean water closets radiator brush and Johnny Mops bottle brush bottle brush have uh, a longer animated uh, brushes that are used for wash machines and tubs. Clothes scrubbers, these are used for scrubbing clothes. Dead scrubbers, these are used for cleaning large areas. Carpet brushes are used for, for carpets as the name implies. Upholstery brushes, upholstery brushes are uh, used to loosen out uh, dust embedded, embedded between the fabric fires, fibers in upholstered chairs and sofas. Feather brushes. These are brushes used for light dusting. Dusting means just to remove the uh, upper the falling dust in the surface. Hurt brushes. These are used for cleaning heavy soiling and removing ash out of fireplaces. Fluffers. These are used being in chimneys. So they are different. So here you can see this is toilet brush, upholstery brush, bottle brush. Upholstery means the coverings or the fabrics that is being uh, used on top of a uh, furniture or sofas so some dust particles will be there in the surface. so uh, to remove uh, dust particles from upholstery you have to use this brush brooms sweeping brooms consist of long bristles gathered together and inserted into a handle the bristles of a broom may be made of grass, corn or coconut fibers depending on the type. Brooms may be used for removing dust and dirt from large areas. So there are different types of brooms. Types soft bristle brooms. Soft bristle brooms such as corn fiber brooms, grass brooms and whisk brooms are used to smooth floors. A good soft brooms have uh, comparatively fewer split ends and any split that do form are short. This is the soft bristle broom. By a bristle only you can find out what kind of broom is this. Hard and coarse bristle broom. These are used in the, uh, these are made of uh, the coconut fiber brooms are used on coarse surfaces, especially outdoors. So hard bristle. Okay. Some now nowadays there are synthetic hard bristle brooms are also there, but coconut fibers are also being used while making hard bristle brooms. Then wall brooms are being used in the walls. 
they were called ceiling brooms or turks head they have a soft head and long handle usually made of cane these brooms are used to remove cobwebs as well as dust from stone uh, ceilings and high ledges so you can see this is wall broom wall broom is the way you have the long very long handle and the shape of these bristles is like that so that you can uh, reach out to the ceiling or uh, upper areas of, uh, of your rooms you can uh, remove uh, webs and some other particles from the, your ceiling floors so this is all about the manual cleaning equipment there are also some equipments those are being categorized into equipment such as buckets mugs and all uh, clothes and all these are also manual equipment so thank you so much Thank uh you. -huh.